So, as you all know, today we will try to explain you the amendments and how to do it in our tool Plaza. As we said, please just drop your questions whenever you have in the Q&A section that you can see on your screens and we will try to reply all of them. So to start with, what is the amendment that we are talking about? This is the opportunity to formally modify any required changes in your colors. So what are these required changes? It may be a deliverable change, either adding or modifying or deleting. Oh. It might be a KPI change, so you may like to add a KPI or you may like to increase the existing targets, which are already in your Kala. You may like to change some tasks. You may modify them. You can add them. Budget changes, I think this might be the most critical one that we will go into details in the next slides. And activity descriptions that may include the work plan or the cost justifications. As we informed, Plaza is our grants management tool for the moment. That's why this whole um, process will be implemented in Plaza through Activity Editor. I believe many of you or maybe all of you are already familiar with Activity Editor, but whenever you have your questions about the access, you can always reach us via participants email. So the whole process will be implemented by Activity Leader. And this person is the person that has the editing rights for the project on Plaza, and uh, they can make the required, required changes after they consult and they check with their Kava consortium. So they need to act on behalf of the Kava consortium. So the purpose of the whole amendment process is to update your Plaza information as the technical and financial details needs to ensure that the data are consistent with the actual implementation of your cover. So what, ha what have we done about amendments? In the first round, which was in April, May, we, we had asked for your um, in, like implementation about uh, budgets, budgets figures. So some errors needs to be some correction of errors or budget needs to be added for new participants. All were asked and you did in late um, in April. Then in the second round for amendment, which will be launched on 14th of October, and that will be finalized on mid-November. As we said, we would expect to see if any required changes are needed for deliverables, KPIs, budgets, and descriptions. So to proceed to one more detail about the budget changes, uh, as this is crucial to understand who does what and who has which roles in the process about the budget changes, we have three phases. The first one is change requests. So here, the main responsibility is the activity leader of the project. As we said, activity leader is the only responsible person to work on the uh, plaza. Uh, they will be aligned with all Kava participants regarding the budget changes, especially in many organizations. These people are the finance contacts. The activity leader needs to submit budget changes in Plaza, and this needs an action in Plaza itself. The second phase is change of ap uh, approval. So, as we said, activity leader will enter the changes of budgets if needed, and then the participants, finance contacts, are the ones who need to approve the budget changes that are entered by the activity leader. So this is kind of a mechanism that will help you to double check if the data that was entered by activity leader is correct. So this will enable finance contacts of each participant to check what is requested to be amended. Simultaneously, the whole uh, request about budget changes needs to be checked with a program manager as program managers needs to understand the correctness, correctness of the budget change request, but they will not have any action in Plaza. So there will be no approval mechanism designed for program managers. The approval mechanism will be for finance contacts of each participant to check what has activity leader has entered to Plaza. Third phase is the consolidation phase. Here, the responsible um, party is EIT Food. So we uh, and my colleagues will have the final check to consolidate the figures in Plaza, uh, but they will, of course, wait for the uh, approval from the participants' finance contacts. Therefore, this is important to keep an eye on the deadlines as activity leaders, once activity leaders submit their budget changes, it would be great if finance contacts can be uh, quick 
so that the whole process can be finalized and we can proceed with the consolidation. So consolidation of Kava budget amendment requires uh, the, the review, approval and consolidation of budget changes are performed on a rolling basis, which means you do, you do, not, you do not need to wait for the deadline uh, and you can continuously work on your budgets, submit them as activity leaders, and it will be finance officers, finance contacts to approve them. The budget amendment of each cover will be processed based on the dates of activity leader requests and, fi and finance contacts approval, which means if everything is finalized on your site earlier than the deadline, perfect, then my colleagues will be able to consolidate your budgets after they do their checks, reviews and approvals. This is an important note for you that there will be one amendment per cover per amendment period. So, which means um, you work on the amendment, you submit them, it's consolidated, it's consolidated, and then it's done. There will not be a second one in the specific amendment periods. If there is any problem regarding this whole process, contact us always from participants' mailbox, and we will be happy to assist you. So Plaza, as we said, this is our grants management tool. And let's see how the Kava amendment is um, configured in Plaza. So many of you are probably already familiar as this is not your first amendment, but, but there are some Kavas we know that that will be their first time to work on Plaza. So here you can find the details about how to reach your Kava and how to start doing your amendments. So first you reach Plaza. If by any chance you still don't have uh, Plaza accounts, you can always reach participants mail group and we can try to understand where the problem lies and uh, make it um, fixed. So you go to Plaza, you access activity editor that you can see on your right. You select the business plan. So now we are in business plan 2325 and you select your cover from the drop down list. You need to select the specific year as well that you can see on the right as uh, circled in pink. Uh, before we start to give more information about how the budget can be changed in Plaza, here are the definitions of the budgets that you will be able to see on your screens when you start to work in Activity Editor. So the original budget, that's the column called original, that is the budget originally approved for the activity. So it may differ from the current budget if the activity has already performed some budget amendments in 23 and or in 24. The current budget is the budget currently allocated to the activity. Pending is the modified budget submitting during this amendment. So approval by the, the FOP we call finance contacts um, and or consolidation by EIT food are pending. So it is in the pending stage, uh, which needs to be approved either by FOP or EIT food. And consolidated column that will give you the new budget, which has been processed and confirmed by EIT food. So upon consolidation, the pending budget becomes current consul, um, current budget, as you may guess. So as we said, uh, tasks are one of the items that can be changed in this business plan amendment periods. So you are, you are fine to add a task or modify an existing task. How to do it? When you reach your Kava in Activity Editor, you will select the reference year, and then you go to tab, which is called Tasks. And you need to click on uh, Add New Task I icon. We circled it in pink, you can see there as well. If you need to add a totally brand new task. If you need to change anything about an existing task, you can click on the Edit icon next to each task, and you will be there to modify your task. Task durations can fall beyond the business plan 23-25, which is el eligibility period ends at the end of 25. However, if there are any tasks that you expect your activity to have um, a duration beyond end of 25, then please reach us uh, your, and your program manager as well. So we will have a discussion with them to understand the need, the necessity, and then we can try to find a solution. But for the moment, you will not be allowed to add any dates beyond end of 25. So the budget amendments. Uh, first, you need to understand, as we said, many of you are already familiar, but for the new ones especially, you need to understand how the logic works. So every time you try to check uh, any tab, please select the business plan year 
and your cover and the respective year as well. So for the budget amendment, you select the budget management tab. You need to add new budget lines if needed with the add button in the upper left that you can see there uh, on the screen. Modify the current budget lines. You edit the line clicking the icon next to the budget line to modify. One important note here, budget lines are created linking each budget entry with a task. So whenever you have a problem that may be linked to tasks, so be sure the dates of the tasks are there, correct, and the tasks themselves are there, so the budget lines can be linked to them. If you have any problems with these, you can always contact participants so we can try to solve together. So adding a budget line, as we said, you select your kappa and your budget year. Then you click on add budgets. You need to fill in the mandatory field and click on create new entry that you will see on your screens. That is the screen that you will see when you try to create a new entry. After having created the entry, the new budget item, which is per participant per task, can be modified and additional cost lines can be linked to it. Uh, this slide is important because sometimes we receive quite a lot of questions regarding the budget entries and we see there are some problems or mistakes done previously by the activity leaders. So the total cost amounts which are shown in green, you will see it on your screens as well, they need to match the total source of funding amount which are shown in red. If not, the system will detect an error and the, there will be a prevention for the budget entry submission. Source of funding type that we have a code of 6202, which is called EIT funding cascade. Uh, that funding type should be inserted manually as a separate budget line to balance out the costs. Because if not, the budget tool will automatically allocate co-funding, which is the partner on funding, as source of funding for all costs inserted. So we say if your source of funding is mixed, then we always suggest you to first insert 6202 that you see as EIT funding cascade so that the plaza can then automatically balance the rest to the co-funding requested. Uh, continuing with editing an existing budget line, if there is a need to edit an existing budget line, again per task and per participant, that will allow you to change the budget amount and add new cost categories. So how to do it? Again, you insert new target budgets and a proper budget description that that will be a good reason then you add your reason of change this line is mandatory as well because you should argument precisely the budget change requests probably your program managers are already aware of these changes but we as um, the business operations team we also need to see the reason of the change and then as a third step you need to apply the change uh, you can select different options here there is save and refresh uh, these are the change. These changes are saved, but not submitted for approval. Uh, and you can see how the budget would change if the changes are applied. So this will be a tool for you to see how the amendment will be reflected when you do save as draft. These are, as can be understood from the name, changes are saved but not submitted. So they are saved and kept as draft. Under new targets, if you want to delete the new targets you inserted, so you add something and it seems and you checked and it seems there is a problem, you can always undo the new targets. And submit change requests, this is a step that you must do once everything seems clear and correct for you. So changes are saved and submitted for approval. Please note that after submitting, you will not be able to modify or undo the targets anymore. So we always recommend, because this is what we see time to time, that some budget lines, budget changes are kept as drafts, so they are not saved. So we always say, say once you are clear and it's OK, you can submit by submit change request. Uh, continuing with editing a budget line. So we, we ask you to keep in mind that after you have clicked on submit change request, you can follow the status of your request via the workflow status. So here you can see under workflow, there will be three segments submitted, approved, consolidated. So you will see if you correctly submitted it, you will then see when once it's approved by the FOB, and then you will be able to see once it's consolidated by EIT food. How to reach this workflow status? You can always check the budget management via the edit button next to each budget line of your cover. Um, probably 
it, although it's not your first time, you will have some issues while working on the budgets, but here are the common issues that we would like to list here, and we really think it will be handy while we are working on this. Uh, one problem might be you are not the activity leader of the Kava, so you may need to check with us or with your consortia to make sure that you are the activity leader. Um, maybe, as I have been telling, you need to select the business plan. Maybe you did not select the correct business plan or you totally forgot to select the business plan. You need to select the year. That might be one mistake. It seems or it can be heard as an easy uh, mistake, but this can be done due to hectic uh, business life of yours. An error message appears. The total cover cost may not be equal to the total sources of funding. EIT Foods keeps rejecting the cost change request, then you may need to contact your PM. So there might be some internal discussions with your PM, and that may be that may be one reason. All your budget appears as co-funding. As I previously explained in um, two slides before, you should insert manually the EIT funding cascade amount as source of funding. Because otherwise, the budget tool will automatically allocate the co-funding as the only source of funding. So we suggest you to add uh, it in advance, and then uh, there will be no problem about the co-funding amounts. If you cannot add budget to a new participant, this is because the participant may be missing from your partners tab, then you need to contact participants because at in this amendment period, adding new participants are not allowed. There are some cases that, that there were some uh, changes due to some problems. So for those cases, we need to check one by one and you need to reach us via participants and we can contact with our colleagues to clarify your case. The sim this symbol that you see here, the red one, if it appears next to the edit button, this, this means A, need to click submit for those changes or if submitted correctly, then budget line is pending for finance context approval. As a third option, budget line has been approved by the participant finance contact, but consolidation by EIT food is pending. So whenever you see this icon, it seems something is um, going on in terms of the approvals, and it might be one of these. So we need, as we said, we need uh, cost justifications and Probably you are already in contact with your PMs and your program managers are already aware of these upcoming requests of changes. But we also <coughs> in the tool need to see the cost justifications. So all covers must provide detailed justifications. And for this, you need to go to description tab that you see. Uh, scroll to sections regarding justification costs. There is a screenshot on the right uh, and you will be able to see it when you have your tool open. And you need to provide detailed explanation of each cost category. Uh, and this needs to be uh, done as it's a mandatory uh, function. And when justifying the budget for cost categories, we really need to see pro pro provided um, clear explanations for each cost. Therefore, if there is any problem, if there is any question in your mind, please always check with your program manager before you add your justifications. All costs budgeted should be reasonable and aligned with the project activities. And how, how can we understand that a justification is looking good? For the personal uh, costs, describe the roles, tasks, and ex expertise required for the projects. This is really important for us to see the justification of the personal costs. Subcontracting, you need to explain why specific tasks can't be done by the project team and why there is a need for external expertise and that's why you are adding your subcontracting costs. Travel costs outline the purpose of travel. So why these travels are needed and how it supports the project process. Equipment justify the need for specific equipment, ensuring it's used mainly for the project. And we need a clarification regarding cost sharing if used in other projects as well. Other goods and services. You need to explain costs for any purchase from external third parties incurred in order to carry out your tasks within the activity. An indirect cost, this is an automated flat rate of 25 percentage, and you don't need to add any justification as it is calculated automatically by the system. Uh, link all costs directly to project task because we need to make sure that all of the costs to be acc accrued needs to be linked to your projects and needs to be uh, budget consistent. Um, so another 
point that we said, which is OK to change to modify are the deliverables. So you can modify the, your deliverables or you can add new ones. So first step, you need to discuss this modification or addition with your program manager. Then to, if everything is OK and if program manager also agrees, then you go to Plaza and then you click edit icon next to the existing deliverable line and you need to add new deliverable. So you go to deliverables out, output um, tab and then you go to edit and add new deliverable. If a modification is needed, then you need to explain the reason for this change as well. In case of deliverable due date modification, you need to make sure the tasks linked to the deliverable you are changing runs during the date to which you want to move the deliverable because otherwise the system will give uh, errors and you won't be able to change um, according to your wish. If, as you as as I say, if you find any problem with the task state, then you need to update the task duration accordingly. Another point that you are fine with modifying or adding a new one are the KPIs. You can submit requests for changing the existing targets, um, and but you are not allowed to um, submit a, a, a decrease in the KPIs or a deletion. Discuss the KPI target modification or addition with your program manager, uh, as that person will provide a first assessment of the request feasibility. Then if everything is fine, if program manager also agrees, you need to go to your Kava, to your KPI tab, and you need to select the reference here. Uh, as 23 is already gone, only 24 and 25 will be okay to be amended. Select the suitable option. So either you need to add a new KPI or you add it according to the KPI line that you want to make a change. An important note, KPI targets downgrades uh, will by default not accept it. So additional KPIs commitments or existing targets uh, will be checked and evaluated by business operations team and the activities program manager from the first moment. An important note, uh, let's say you are the activity of the Kava, but you cannot see your Kava. There might be a technical problem, so please contact us uh, for support and we will be always happy to help. Uh, let's say you are an activity leader of a Kava, but you are not sure about the program manager, which is important because you need to check several steps with them before making any adjustments in the, in the Kava. Then you can always check this information from your member step. So you go to your Kava, in the activity editor and you check member step. If you are not able to see your program manager, then please contact us. I know there are some Kavas that still waiting for their program manager information. Uh, they will be assigned very soon, but if there are other old uh, Kavas, for a reason they cannot see their program manager, please reach us. And what to do if Kava needs a change in a consortium member? As you see, participants amendment is not among the list of things that can be amended. So system will not allow activity leaders to add or remove a participant because if you have already joined our other webinars, uh, they need to they may need to be onboarded. They may need to com complete their validation. They may need to be discussed within the team in order to understand what is the necess necess necessity regarding a new participant from your Kava. Therefore, if you have any uh, requirement about um, part adding a new participant, please contact us and uh, always keep your program manager in the loop. So we will check your case uh, within the team. And each case has to be checked and approved by business operations individually, as we said, because sometimes uh, not they are not same at all, so they need to be discussed individually within the team.